World of Warcraft has been out for a very long time. There have been hundreds and hundreds of changes to the game, but there's one aspect that has remained an important part of Endgame, and that's raiding. Die, insect. Since the game's inception, there has always been a point to gather all your friends together and throw yourselves at giant bosses for hours and hours in hopes of getting some fancy new gear. Despite raiding being a core concept of the game, you'd be surprised how much it's changed. I mean, after saving the world 44 times, there needs to be some sort of innovation to keep it interesting. These radical changes that raiding has gone through has never been more apparent than now, now that Classic WoW is out. So let's compare, contrast, critique and criticize what it's like to raid in Classic WoW and the modern version of the game. Burning. Burning. Okay, so before we start, let me preface by saying that when I talk about retail raiding, I mean normal, heroic, and mythic. I'm not talking about LFR because it's just far too easy and is just an outlier of all the other difficulties. <laughs> Also, since my channel is about classic, it might seem like I have a hardcore classic bias, but I actually really enjoy raiding and retail, and it's basically the only reason why I still play retail. Okay, now with all that nonsense out of the way, let's actually talk about some raiding. Before we start raiding, well, we're gonna have to get to the raid, and we can already find distinct differences between the two games. In Classic, getting to the raid is an event in itself. Typically, your whole guild will group up in one big death fall before traveling to the instance. This is because you might want to get the Anixia buff at your main city, or any other world buffs, or because you're on a PvP server and entering Blackrock Mountain alone opens you up to being jumped by the opposite faction. So you gotta roll out with your whole guild, cranking Led Zeppelin as you kill anything in your path on the way to the entrance. Oh god! Here they come! In the modern game, it's a lot more streamlined. As of recording this, you get to the current raid by taking a portal from your main city and then flying to the entrance of the raid. The addition of summoning stones also really helps because everybody has that one guy that shows up five minutes late every raid night. That guy. While you can summon people in Classic, it takes up a Warlock Soul Shard and you can't summon people outside of the raid into the raid. So let's say you're at Ragnaros and you need to summon a new player, you're going to have to run all the way back out of the instance to summon them. So when comparing the two, in the modern version of the game, traveling to the raid is an afterthought that makes little to no difference, while in Classic, it's an important hurdle you need to jump to start raiding because, well, you need to travel to the raid to start killing bosses in the first place. Okay, so now that we're at the raid, let's talk about the raids themselves. The obvious thing to mention is classic has attunements, basically meaning quests that you're required to do to get into the instance. This can be a hump your guild needs to get over before you even start killing bosses. And for Molten Core, there's an additional hurdle you need to get over, which is getting the water to douse the runes in the raid to fight the final boss. This involves a select few raiders grinding elementals for hours, and you don't want to forget to do this like some streamers. It's because nobody has a fucking rep to do Major Domo! Shit! We can't even kill Rob! Son of a fucking bitch! Trash also plays a big part of raids in Classic, to the point where Trash is far more difficult than the actual bosses, and you'll spend a majority of your time killing Trash rather than bosses. There are some butt-clenching Trash pulls in Classic because they can go south really quickly, and wiping wastes a lot of time. If you wipe, you have to make sure one of your healers has a soul stone or any other type of wipe protection, and then they'll slowly res everybody, one by one, then buff everybody back up. And this whole process probably takes like 7 to 10 minutes. Attunements and getting water and all this stuff, none of this applies to Retail WoW. You can just zone in and start clearing without a care in the world. Trash and Retail WoW can be difficult, but it's more or less just used as buffers between boss pulls. I will give them credit though, using Trash to highlight certain mechanics for the upcoming boss is a very cool concept and something I hope they continue to do in the future. Also, wiping basically has no effect in Retail WoW. You just spawn right in front of the boss once again. But hey, we are raiding just to kill some trash mobs, so let's talk about some bosses. This is my realm child. 
Not so much as a single spell can be cast in Nazjatar without my knowledge. Difficulty is created in two totally different ways between these games. Classics difficulty comes from the prep and organization, and Retail WoW's difficulty comes from the mechanical skill and the individual responsibility of players. In other words, Classic difficulty comes from before the poll, and Retail WoW difficulty comes from the actual boss fight. Prep is a big part of Classic WoW. Dealing with 40 people is not an easy task, and a lot of moving cogs need to be working in order for it to be efficient. You've got a raid leader calling out plays and leading the group to victory, and class leaders managing who does what for each class. You also need to assign healers to heal specific people, and you need a couple of competent tanks. And lastly, you need some DPS all needing to focus a specific enemy at times, and to make sure they're not pulling threat. And to top that all off, you have some bosses that have a couple of mechanics that are easy in theory, but with 40 people, there's bound to be some errors. But if all these cogs in your raid team are working, well, raiding is easy. It's stupid easy. You gotta keep in mind that this content was made 15 years ago. 15 years ago, people had crappy computers. 15 years ago, their internet sucked. And 15 years ago, they sucked at the game. And I don't even think I was potty trained yet. There's also an argument to be made that difficulty of classic raids comes from clearing it as fast as possible. No matter what part of classic you're in, every raid is going to be useful in some sort of way, so guilds should try and clear every raid every week. If you're slow in this process, you're going to be raiding every night, so for a guild, the challenge comes from speed clearing these raids. Compare this to retail where you can literally raid with 10 people for heroic and normal difficulties. The truth is, having a small and flexible raid roster makes the organization of a raid team a lot easier. Even in Mythic, getting 20 people together is much easier than 40. I believe where the strength and difficulty comes from retail raiding is the boss fights. They've had 15 years to perfect this aspect of the game, and say what you will about Retail WoW, trust me, I don't really like it either, but raiding has always been amazing. Even in the bad expansion, raids are still really good. Hell, Blackrock Foundry is my all-time favorite raid, and Black Hand is easily, hands down, the best fight I've ever done. Oh, you're so kind. Blizzard has continued to push the boundaries to make some very cool and interesting fights every tier, and I applaud them for that. The personal responsibility of a player is far greater in retail raiding because of the smaller raid size and the abundance of mechanics during boss fights. Combat is much more faster paced because of all this stuff going on during the boss fight, and gameplay for each class is much more involved. I've mainly been focusing on Molten Core since it's the current raid in Classic as of recording this, but it's true that some bosses later in Classic's lifespan can be a bit difficult, but it's nowhere near the polish retail WoW has with their encounters. And again, remember, this content is as old as dirt, so this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. I mean, look at this footage, I can literally count the pixels on this. So we've talked about travel, trash, bosses, but it's time to talk about why we're all here. And that's for those Professor Plums, baby. Despite being a 40-man raid, classic raids barely drop any gear. And I'm talking only a small handful of items for each boss. This makes the gearing process a lot slower, but a lot more impactful. In most scenarios, raid gear is the best gear in the game, so when you finally equipped it, you're on Cloud9 and you look like a badass. Because there's no transmog in Classic, when people see you in the main city with all that gear, they're gonna know you're the real deal. So not only is there raw statistics progression of your character, but there's also a cosmetic progression of your character. And like it or not, people like being pretty. In retail, there is an overabundance of gear. You can get gear from multiple different avenues of the game, and that with the addition of Titan Forging makes all these purple items you collect just this blur of gear. I'll be honest. I cannot name you one piece of gear I have on my character in Retail WoW, but in Classic, I could list every single item for you because it was a momentous occasion when I finally got it. Having a clear best in slot item is a lot more compelling, to me at least, rather than a hodgepodge of items that I hope get Titan Forged. Okay, now with all that information I just spewed at you, let's summarize the positives and negative aspects of raiding in each game. For Classic, it's a huge time investment to be constantly in a raid team. It's not very convenient, and the bosses are simple and can be pretty easy, but gear is a lot more rewarding, and you're in a larger community 
and truly, you're a part of something bigger. In Rito, raiding is a lot more streamlined and easy to get into. It constantly has new and interesting bosses, faster paced mechanics, but the gear leaves something to be desired. Both of these games have their positives and their negatives, but at the end of the day, I love them both and you should too. Die, insect. I love you. I love you too. Woo wee, okay. Thank you for watching my video, and uh, thank you to my patrons. People like Bodhi, Estio, Max Passatron, Muwaki, Jude, Douglas Bagula, Caleb Biglin, Vintage Me, Lagging Balls, Half Finnis, Ian McNeil, Happy Tron, Lion Sucks, Porta Horde, Gurkha Blue Moon, Master Hand, Fishy Lawn Gnome, Andre Brighetto, Raw Maxim, and Vlad Rubella. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of you guys now. And all these other people too. Hey guys, uh, thank you so much. More videos coming this month. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>